politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Uh, President Museveni has called the family of the murdered state minister for housing, Charles Sokelo. At around 10.45 in the morning, reports have indicated that President Museveni called a family member to commit right with other family members. Uh, President Museveni also requested to know the family's story about the circumstances under which his minister was killed. Meanwhile, the killed minister was yesterday at the Labor Day celebrations in Namutumba district and these were some of the statements in his speech. I'm called Carol Charles Patrick Okello Engwala Machudugo. I'm the Minister of State for Labor, Employment and Industrial Relations. Your Excellency, it gives me a great pleasure to welcome your, you your Excellency, in this function is strategic in that it helps all of us to reflect on the promotion of positive work culture and ethics as a stepping stone for realization of the national aspirations enshrined in the country's development agenda and therefore calls upon everyone to support the promotion of positive work culture and ethics. Well, those are some of the statements the killed minister said yesterday at the Labor Day celebrations. Uh, meanwhile, Minister Betty Amongi has revealed that this particular bodyguard who killed the minister had been a new bodyguard and had only stayed for one month. Yesterday, he gave a speech in Namutumba. We organized the function together. We uh, we caucused together on what will be done, and he performed this function very well. And actually, the the, the subject who shot him was with him, was bodyguarding him in his principal car yesterday while he went to Namotomba. So that's why we are saying it is unfortunate. We don't know what the issue is, but the police will really uh, determine from collaborative uh, statements and, and let the nation know. This particular bodyguard has not stayed with the minister for long. It's only for about one month. So I do not think he, he, wa he was brought from Bombo uh, a month ago. So there cannot be any other consideration probably related because he has many other uh, bodyguards that has been in the ministry and has been supporting him as a minister. So investigation will determine the real cause of, of what uh, was the issue, but to really reaffirm that he has been a new bodyguard to the Honorable Minister. Uh, uh, as one of the many bodyguards that he has because he has a lead car. Uh, the Minister of ICT and National Guidance, that is the Honorable Dr. Chris Bariomosi, on behalf of government, has also confirmed the death and said that burial arrangements will be communicated anytime soon. Was shot dead by one of his bodyguards, Private Sabit Wilson, and also the ADC to the Minister. One or Tim Ronald sustained severe injuries and has been rushed to Morago Hospital and is being treated by the doctors there. And uh, thereafter, Private Sabiti, the person who shot, also killed himself. And the uh, investigations are being carried out. Uh, we also want to say body arrangements are going to be worked out and the program shall be released once we have agreed upon it. I would like to convey condolences to the wife of the minister and the family, condolences to the president of Uganda and the entire government and the ministers and the people of Lango, particularly his constituency, which he represented in the parliament of Uganda and all Ugandans. 
and we pray that the good Lord rests his soul in eternal peace. Well, the findings are what I have told you. The findings are what I have told you that this morning one of his bodyguards opened fire on the minister and killed the minister and also injured the ADC who has been rushed to Morocco but he's able to talk and the doctors were arranging to take him to theater because he sustained the injuries in the one of the sides and the arms. We hope that he will get out of danger and the, the private subject killed himself.